You're so talented. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. We are actually about to get vaccinated. We're about to get our second shot Round so two. that we are safe. I'm really excited for this. Oh my gosh, like finally, right? And we're actually here super early. So we're gonna go to Kohl's and look around and try to find some Looney Tunes CMFs. So oh, we probably won't find any. <laughs> this is like nowhere Texas, but who knows? Ooh, Lego. There's no Looney Tunes CMFs, obviously. This is like the middle of nowhere. Obviously they wouldn't have them. They have a full box of video still. Looks like some DC minifigs in the background, bunch of dots on sale. Oh man, Kohl's is always so interesting. They have such weird stuff here. But this troll set looks actually really fun. There's like so many different colors. They have this Raya toy. It's not Lego obviously, but like look how weird this thing looks. I don't know, man. This dragon's just like a really weird shape. I always thought the Lego version was just weird or bad, but turns out the dragon's just kind of funky looking. So we're all checked in. Let's do this. There's quite a line in front of us, but <laughs> we're excited. Huh, we just stumbled across the toy aisle. But yeah, we're done. We got our vaccines and I'm Ross excited. got his sticker. I did my part. <laughs> <laughs> My arm hurts a little bit, but so far, I don't know. I feel okay. We have to wait around 15 minutes, so we get to do our grocery shopping. <laughs> Yay. Ooh, Lego. This selection's kind of bad. And this one looks fun. The friend sets are so cool. They're so colorful. You don't get that with Star Wars. Yeah, so my arm already hurts a bit. <laughs> How are you feeling? I don't feel anything. No? Great. <laughs> Mine definitely hurts a little bit. So Claire, the plastic architect, recommended getting Gatorade to kind of deal with, what, muscle soreness or just to hydrate afterwards? Do we get name brand? Do we get like actual Gatorade? Or do we get the Powerade stuff? Do you like the orange flavor? I like it because it's both the flavor and the color. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna get blue. Okay, I did not know this exists. Look how chonky that is. It's called a Big Cup Reese's and now I really want it. Crawfish roll? What? Oh, crawfish. Oh, that's gonna combo. What a weird mix of stuff. We have sushi, car stuff. So we just got back to the car and Ross is doing something with the engine, I don't really know. But now I'm having my lap sushi because I don't really know what else to do with it and I'm hungry. Do you want to have some lap sushi? Some lap sushi? No. What's that? Yeah, sushi on your lap. Yeah, it's sushi on your lap. I like it. How does it feel to be vaccinated? Kind of painful. Kind of painful. <laughs> it hurt. She stabbed me. Why'd she do that? It would just be funny if, like, you cut to a scene and it's just us two. Chick fil A! Chick fil A, Chick fil A, Chick fil A at lunch. Chick fil A, Chick fil A. So, why are we here? Like a double VIP. But yeah, I'm looking, probably try to see if they have the Moss Eisley Cantina. Here we are at the Lego store. <gasps> oh my god, they have this. Oh my god. <sighs> the Spring Lantern Festival, y'all. We haven't been able to find this in months, like literal months since January, I think. I really wanted to get it for my husband, Ross, for his birthday in February, early February. And we haven't been able to find this, so I think we might buy it. We have it on back order right now, but I think it's going to take till another month, like 60 days to get here. So I'm very happy. Also, speaking of hard to find Lego, they have the flower bouquet. We already have two of these, so I mean, oh wow, one per customer, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, we already have two, so we don't need any more, but just saying, if you're in Austin, you want some flowers, they have them. And Barracuda Bay is definitely on my list. The more I look at it, the more I want it, and it just has so many fun little details. I just don't know where I would put it. It doesn't really fit in Disney, unless if I did like a Jack Sparrow kind of thing. It doesn't look like they have the cantina today, unfortunately, but... I don't know. Is it is it available online on back order or something? I've only seen it on Amazon. Yeah. So there's really not too much in terms of Marvel. They have some DC stuff, some Speed Champions. They do have the Marvel helmets and the Carnage, which is kind of fun. And then they have some like these Batman. What are these even called? Character packs. And then mechs. And that's about it. Um, yeah. There's really not much here. The character packs. 
some four plus sets, this smaller one. Kind of disappointing, he really wanted the helicarrier and it doesn't look like they have it. Every time I'm here, I always see if they have the flowers in stock, but they don't. I think they're out of stock online too, but hopefully at some point they'll get them. Hey guys, so we're back in the car. We just got our Lego store sets and they didn't really have too much, honestly. Like we got a few sets that we really wanted, which was great, but some of the stuff that we really, really wanted was not in stock still. Like there's the roses that I would love to have. There's like the Marvel sets that Ross really wanted and they didn't have anything. So that was kind of a bummer, honestly. And then like most Isley Cantina as well. Said they haven't Nothing. had uh, the Cantina since like before Christmas. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've only seen it a few times there. So we were kind of disappointed at what we found at the Lego store. So now we are actually at Target, cause why not? I don't know. <laughs> we felt like it. Target, whoop whoop. Or is it Target? I'm worried that when a movie comes out, the set will be disappointed. Oh man. Yeah, they have Black Widow. That's awesome. Ooh. Look at that. The Helicarrier. Are you gonna get it or are you gonna order it online? For double VIP. Ooh, and they have the little bee house thing. God, oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I honestly didn't care about this till today, but now I really want it. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm looking for, but I'm not seeing it. I don't know, I just want to find something awesome, and I'm just not. These have a cool light-up display, though. Look at that. So fancy. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry, what? They have the elf clubhouse here. They have the flower bouquet. Look at that. That's like impossible to find. And just like a bunch of these 18 plus sets. I am, I'm shocked, honestly. How did I have these here? I didn't know they, I knew they carried the art stuff. That's fine. But like, what? What's, what's this about? Oh, look at that little elephant. It's got a little bucket. Okay, so I've been told that this is a really good set to get. This is Emma's fashion shop. And so it kind of, it's kind of on brand, right? You know, like Emma Soros, Emma's Fashion Shop kind of works. But yeah, having this in Disney World would actually be really cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so I know this doesn't sound like a big deal, but I got my first Starbucks in like a year and I am really happy about it. It's really yummy. It's really good. Well, let's go stop by Bricks and Minutics now. See what they got? Yeah, you really twisted my arm on that one. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll go. Ooh, they have the Disney castle. My mom's actually gonna buy one in Florida and build it as one of her first Lego sets. This will be her third, I think. And then she's gonna give it to me when she's done to do the rubricable costume shop with it. So that's gonna be awesome. Oh, are there sea trolls in that? Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. And then this one, this build looks like Ladybird. Oh my gosh, like this dog down here, total Ladybird vibes, I love it. I think we should get it. <laughs> this one's pretty cheap at $35. It comes with this like eagle thing. This one comes with the scary bat that I like. And I actually really like the treehouse it comes with too. This one comes with a little green fox. What do you see, Ross? She's getting really hyped on this elf stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the, I think the 2012 buildable character. We just watched, watched someone come in and sell it to them. Man, this um, is cool. Yeah, so that's kind of a treat to actually see it in person. Right. I don't know what they're going to sell it for. Um, I'm probably assuming somewhere in the $300 range. Oh, this but, is so cool. Yeah, it's magnificent. And so I think I would be more tempted to get it if there wasn't one already coming out later this year. But I mean, this looks fantastic. Oh, it even has this little plate. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, plate, yeah. So now it's the next day. And after getting home from Bricks and Mayfigs, Ross and I were exhausted. I think it was just the vaccines. Like we just didn't really take it too well, but we're feeling fine now. But after we got home, we just didn't really feel like finishing the video. We didn't really feel up to vlogging. We took a nice nap. But then we woke up from our nap and bought some more stuff from Lego shop at home because it's still double VIP and we really wanted this stuff. We went to Target and we definitely passed up on a bunch of sets that we really wanted because 
why would we buy it at Target when there's double VIP points available from Lego? So yeah, we have another big shipment coming soon from Lego, but we also got all of this stuff behind me. So I'm just thrilled about that. Like all of those bags down there are different Lego sets that we got. So yeah, I didn't want to do a haul video yet just because I do have more stuff coming from Lego Shop at Home. So make sure to check back soon for that haul video. I cannot wait to show you. We got some really cool stuff. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.